at it again. Make sure I try to jack up this mountain lower. All the clean up the other one. Uh, yeah, no, that's all right. We can probably hear it getting up on it. We need to be close enough to the thing anyway. Doing a little clean up from working on the uh, Forester. It's working good from yesterday. Uh, trying to help out Top Horror for a minute since he's uh, MIA with employment stuff. But, uh, yeah, we'll try to get sections up as we go. Airbag time. See you in a few. Well, cleaned up. Car somewhat in place. You gotta get it on stands, obviously. Yet. I'm a little winded. It's a little pain about to push. I'm gonna lay everything out. Yep. Start to uh, see what it turns out to be. In. And all the stuck bolts and <laughs> rusty fight we're probably gonna have to put in, but we'll be all right. All right, so back at step one, doing Raceland. Mark four airbag setup. Uh, we're gonna start in the back end. Uh, we really didn't even think about it. <laughs> you got four jack stands over here, two are holding up my car, and now two are holding up his. So we're gonna start in the back. Uh, he's gonna start in the back as well. Start to get the electric and pumps and all that stuff ran. Uh, cool thing we didn't. Hey, good. Cool thing we'd. Uh, didn't quite remember right off was that uh, he's already, we've already done a little stereo in the thing. So fortunately we've already got a uh, power back there. So that makes a step I, I thought we were gonna have to take care of. So anyway, I gotta drop a shack and spring perch, drill a hole, I guess where the bump stop looks like it's at. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen these before. Probably most of you have. A little thread cert, you gotta put it in there. So it works like a rivet and gives you a threaded hole and then gives us some place to mount the rear bags. And then the shocks in the rear. So back at it, hopefully we're getting rusted hardware and we'll start spraying penetrant on everything. We got a hole. Got a hole. That's we got good. A hole. Got holes, all kinds of holes. So cool thing is a little smash setup in here. We're trying to go hide everything back here best we can. Keep it all nice and tight so it actually does use it as a car, um, but still make it cool, so. On the busted knuckles and yeah. rusty bolts. <laughs> See, yeah. All right. Fast forward like literally 15 minutes. Oh. <laughs> and yeah. springs are out on both sides. I got a shock out on the other. Uh, public service announcement on this one. He did buy this car used. I need to send this guy a Christmas card. Everything is anti seized. So it's coming out like butter. Um, I'll probably have the back end before he even decides to lay out. Uh, take these two bolts out of the top of the strut. I don't know if you can really see it or not. I can add some light maybe there, but take them two out struts out. I'll start drilling holes and stuff for the bags. Uh, Cut the shit up. Doc doctors getting in here to go do a little surgery. The uh, nub, what have you, in the bottom down here that we would use to normally hold down the what was that uh, spare tire spare mount tire. stuff. Uh, it's got to go. So um, happy cutting. You might see a couple pictures, or I might video him making sparks and my head. So. Yeah, our extension cord. There's one over there by the back. So here we are. Everything's out. Struts out, shocks out, all that. Um, now the fun part's put one of these guys in. A little thread insert. Um, said to drill a hole, but actually the thing fits like butter in the hole that's existing. <laughs> so again, I can't complain. This car's been uh, pretty good so far, so hopefully the front plays the same. Get that drilled. Um, other than that, it's change out the uh, strut top to the coilover setup um, and bolt the bag in. So it's, it's uh, I'll probably have it back done in a minute. And then Wes has come up here and we're well, helping paint dry. So we yeah. cut the nub out, get a little flush. Uh, it's a little cool out here, what, seven? Yeah, probably 60 something, but nothing else at best. So good working weather. And hey, there's stereo. So, baby stereo. Baby. It actually sounds pretty good. Fine. Little baby car. Little baby car. <laughs> All right. So keep twisting. Keep showing you as we go. Are you, you, <laughs> you missing something? One bolt. I need a bolt. He's digging. We're looking Whoa. right. <laughs> anyway, um, little update. We uh, have the thread inserts in. If I can find it here. There it is. Guy okay, there. Um, I won't lie. I didn't really go in the way I wanted it to. Uh, part of the reason is they send something specific. I wanted a 17 30 seconds hole in there. So you kind of have to hammer it in place to get it to work. I kind of had to 
I won't lie, mushroom a little bit to get it to function right and get it to bite right. And, but it's in there, holds a bolt. Um, kind of really, to be completely clear, it didn't really like to do what it did. But uh, as bad as this bolt looks, it actually holds a, the uh, proper hardware pretty well. So I checked, make sure, otherwise we're gonna try to redo it. It's good. So now on to whatever step this is. 14. Uh, 14. Actually, I think it's like six. But um, fittings going on. Uh, brackets we got around here somewhere. They mount on top. You can see by the picture up top. And uh, back end's coming along. We'll see where he's at. I've been kind of ignoring him until he needs help. You know, he's doing the, the automotive twister. Getting studs put in so the tank will bolt in. So that should start coming in pretty good. I'm one bolt short though. You what? One bolt short. One bolt short. One, one bolt short. All right, so hold it in there. We'll keep bringing you in, but uh, it looks like it's coming along. Again, pretty smooth so far. Talk to you a little soon. more into it. Uh, springs are, spring perches are mounted. Airlines, all that. Uh, really peculiar. The thread sort I just put in, they're actually wanting you to take this and just spin the bag and thread it into place. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, use a little anti-seize and smear it on the bolts in case we ever do have to access this again. It'll, it'll come out. And he's over here trying to get the stuff in. Bet you did! And <laughs> to where the tank's actually bolted into the uh, bottom of it here well. So moving right along. We'll uh, keep on trudging here. Till next time. The air filters and compressor. A compressor is like a mount flush and do the same thing. Put studs in through the, the bottom. Right. The controller and the air filters have to be vertical. So self-tapping with sheet metal screw? Uh, that's kind of hillbilly. I know. We got drills and taps. You got enough sheet metal. You can just drill and tap. That's why I didn't try it. You could. Use uh, okay, I'm stainless Allen's left. I could get more nut certs. Yeah. You could actually that. go get the tool and. That would be probably what should. That way, I don't have to get underneath the car. <laughs> right? Yeah. Ever. That's the that's yeah. actually. Well, that's what I'm saying. If you thread and tap it, then you could always worst case thread cert it later too. If you wanted to, just drill the hole again. Mm -hmm. Um, I'd lay everything out. See what you like first. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Two compressors, I think, right here. Right. Compressor, compressor, they both feed into here. And then I can put, like, really, all I can line up, like, all three air filters along the wall, right? Yeah. Here. Kind of cool. And then do the, comp the controller over there. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Hmm. So, rear bags are in, kind of. Kind of in. Kind of in. So, this side, we got away with a little bit of a cheat. Um, the fitting running off the back here can actually follow some other... Um, I think it's all fuel stuff, emissions probably. But long story short, we can do it and use it as an anchor, no friction points, and gives us a nice little spot underneath the uh, bottom there to go straight to the cab or into the cabin of the vehicle. Um, driver's side's not as friendly. <laughs> right, so uh, the, the wonderful heat maker exhaust is kind of a problem. Did you catch that? You did catch that, didn't you? And uh, we really don't have any good access here. The strut lays real tight to this whole segment here. So we really can't come back in and try to go in here. And I also don't want to put it behind here. Two reasons, you're tightening it up with friction as well as you giving yourself really poor access as if and when you've got to do some repairs. So plan like C really, which I, I'm not real fond of. We can probably make it a little bit more robust later. We're actually gonna come off here, go to the front. And we're probably going to follow the axle all the way across. There's a nice little, little tube or what have you in the front side here we can actually anchor to. Uh, we're just going to have to make sure everything clears when it's bound and there's no friction points. And if we have to redo this section of it later with like a metal flexible line or proper fitting or anchor, that's a real easy fix later on. Uh, but we'll do some flex fitments and make sure we've got lines and stuff right. But... Uh, Gonna rebuild, or not rebuild, we'll build the rear struts now, change the top hats and stuff out, and then uh, put the bottom bolts in and we'll be done. So turn the heat on and move on. You got a couple of ooh, pumps right now like that. That'd be all right. Yeah, I'm thinking kind of come off each one and then air filter on either side, man. There you go, come off in one and then feed both. Uh, where are you feeding yeah. them both in? The two lines that are open right there? Right okay. There. The only thing is one's gonna have to run. Yeah, it don't matter. Like I said, Bins are your enemy, kind of. Straighter you can get it easier. Should have got these as 90s. They're both straights. So they're gonna have to come off the top. Yeah. I, or I could just. We could always. I, mean, I gotta have it done. So may as well just order some brass parts and right. or go to go to your local hardware store for the ninth time. How these bits are built. Mm -hmm. right? 
All right, so on to more strap building. Turn the heat on for a minute and make noise. So, rebuilding the strut. Hey, you can leave it on. I lost all about it. I don't badger me for putting this in a vise. We're no longer going to use this old uh, rear strut, but I figured I'd show you. He was complaining of a knocking noise over bumps, and this upper bushing on both of these are completely garbage. You mean it's not supposed to do that? <laughs> I mean, maybe maybe a little, little bit. German engineer. Yeah, right. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's pretty garbage. Um, the other one, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. It's it's pretty dead. So we're gonna probably take a minute, see if we can get those locally quickly. Um, we need some other. Bits. And yeah, we're starting to get a little bit of a hardware question. Um, like I said, he's got straights on these. That's really not gonna work. So we can put some brass 90s in there to keep everything tucked up underneath the whole build. Um, but it's coming along actually pretty well. Getting little stuff like this isn't surprising. And updating things as they break is also not necessarily a bad idea. So Paul's out. Probably, uh, I ain't eat lunch yet either. So get some food maybe and keep on twisting. So day two. I got a rigger this time. I actually I bought one. <laughs> the nut cert tool that we needed yesterday. But he's going to do some more of that on the uh, tank side. Uh, upper strut mounts for the rear. Uh, don't bash this because they're Duralast. It's what was in stock. So, <laughs> their lifetime warranty anyway. They're better than what we had. Uh, layout's coming. Pump's here. He's going to put the pump on the other side. Uh, he hasn't been out too, too long. I was a little delayed for yeah, the vet appointment. Tanks, yeah, the tank's bolted. You had, I think, yeah. yesterday. It's a bolted in there. Bolted? Oh, it's, it's in. <laughs> in. It's in. Okay. All right. So, more tearing stuff up and we'll see what happens. All right. Problem number one of the day. So, this little sleeve is on the top of the strut, like so. Took the bolt off, all that. Um, it won't go into the upper strut mount. So, it obviously comes off. A little bit of a lip there. I don't really think that's enough. The stock strut has a, what looks like a little, if you can see that, let's see if I can focus on it. Yeah, there we go. What looks like a little snap ring in the top side in order to give it a little bit more edge. I'm gonna measure the two of them, make sure we got enough step on them. If not, I may have to throw a washer or something in there, but I don't want things sliding past things, so let's see what we got. All right, as far as the uh, upper strut mount slash uh, new strut goes, the new strut shoulder on this one I measured is actually larger than the little keeper ring on here, so we should be fine. And then Wes was trying to find a very specific drill bit size for <laughs> the uh, step thing there, which we don't have. So no. we're gonna test fit with a, a piece of different hole sizes. Right. So we're gonna yeah we're gonna get a piece of steel, drill some holes in it with a step bit and see which one works right and what we can make will do and work. Considering it's not uh, nothing but holding things in place, it should do fine. So I'll get these struts in here and get the back end done a little bit from there. So third update on said rear shock absorber. So I took this guy off thinking it was supposed to go inside here somehow. So when I took it off, I'm like, ah, I'll be all right. So I put her on here, bear with me. Right-handed, ready to be left. Anyway, I'll get that washer. That's put on, obviously, it's not going to tighten up. Crap, video. So, that collar, now that I think about it, will go on. And the reason it's got the lip on the bottom is basically to work as a bump stop. There's a little bump stop in between the cushion here and the foot. So, boot. So, now that I've got my bearings here, so to speak, we'll uh, get it put back together. Yay, struts are built. So everything went back on top of that like it's supposed to. So I already got both of them back together. And Wes found a way to it works. make a proper hole. So fortunately the step bit has a step in it. So a little tape mark so he knows where the depth is. Started putting in some hose. All I had I forgot to tell you too, we did a, a top water's ball joint. Yeah. That piece of wood stayed on the spring. He drove it all the way home. He's like, what's that in the bottom of my truck? 
<laughs> he messaged me a little bit ago. He's like, hey, I take a piece of wood home my home. <laughs> I was like, no oh, shit. So, all right, we'll bug him, see if he wants to pop out too. But uh, moving right along. Maybe have uh, maybe have the back end done today on my end anyway. Um, still got around some airlines and poke a couple holes, but uh, we might have the back end done. We'll see what happens. All right, I'm a little winded. So, uh, struts in place. Uh, it's bolted in. I got tightened up the two bottom bolts. Um, we I should have done it on the bench, but took this pretty much unthreaded in the car. Uh, anti seized it real good and went through. Um, some of them will try. I don't know if it'll do this any good or not, but it's got uh, two little holes in the bottom of the perch, what have you. Um, it's used for to, to be able to lubricate. My guess is it's probably going to attract water, so we're going to try to RTV a plug basically in both of those. So we don't need them; they're sealed up. Um, this is at the adjustment currently maxed out ride height. He's just above the door gap on the on the center of the hub. And he's not too far from that in the front. The front's probably a little a little lower. So, again, we'll have to get all the air stuff on it and actually figure out where's a good ride. You don't want to ride out maxed all the time. But uh, these Volkswagens like to tuck wheel for days, so that works out good. Um, he's got one of them in so far, working on the other. Ain't going nowhere. It's fighting him a little bit, but yeah. that's, that's atypical for... Because I can't drill holes perfectly square. <laughs> yeah, his, his uh, drilling Parkinson's isn't working very good, so... Use a little thread locker in the bolts for the thread insert side that goes in. Therefore, yeah, therefore uh, the vibration stuff doesn't back them out on him and don't send a rattle. So I'm gonna get that, and I still gotta put the these guys on the bottom of the uh, uh, bag perches on the bottom to keep them from moving around as well. So back's about done. Get that done. Run some airline and. Uh, I may move on to the front and see what happens. All right, say cheese. All right. So I got all my fun stuff back together. I can't leave it on, it's fine. The bolts up. Uh, Plate the bottom holds the uh, lower bag in place. All that's good, so now we'll start working on some hoses. Weston's hot. Not really. It is hot. We're just getting it down so we can hear. I don't know about you. I Pumps are in. Pumps are in. This guy's in. Like, that guy? Oh, that guy. Look at you. Little air filter. I'm flipping around versus you guys trying to watch upside down and stuff. So I think I'm going to go from here, probably either around the back and turn this guy a little bit, or maybe cut it underneath of the air pump. Uh, I wouldn't go underneath. You're going to cause some... I would, if nothing else, create a loop across like this and then come in at like this angle. I think I'm going to go with that guy because this one is going to have to mount somewhere and over there. And run all go, the way over. You go all the way across and then... Yeah. That's why I'm going to think I'm going to... Yeah. Probably use this one for this one, and then that one I can turn a little bit, cock it that direction. Cock it. Yeah. All right. It's getting tight. Yep. But the uh, rear is done other running airlines, so I'm going to do that now. Um, leave some extra, and we'll figure out where we're going to poke them through. Loud noises. So I had to make a run. We were fresh out of zip ties. Nope, one more. So he's got... We can file it out. Airline holes down here. Start running stuff inside. I'm trying to put a hole there for the other side. For the rear, you can see the one. Doing the other side of the other. He's got a blind hole, so he's having a little trouble. Mm. Um, yeah, I ran out of zip ties, so... <laughs> spin film like, yourself going spin on? Like, spin like, no, I didn't, I didn't, there's nothing <laughs> worth seeing. Let's be honest. No, I end up... Um, it's like $25 in zip ties. Good. <laughs> oh, I got that too. That's that was spectacular. All right, so I'm gonna work on getting the getting the lines ran right there. So we'll have a nice little spot ported in, good access. So on we go. Oh yeah, we roll them. All right, so back ends all together. We're gonna start looking and make sure of uh, clearance. See how far the clearance is clearance. I think we're bottoming out on the strut prior to going all the way up. So my idea is to try to look at rocker line, make sure the tire gets past it. So. There we go. So it's all the way aired out. Yeah. Well, in. <laughs> and it's going away. And it stopped. Yeah, so I'm going to have to run 
Well, that's the not bad. spring in more. You mean the strut? The strut, correct. Because right now we're bottoming out of the strut. But it has more. The strut shorter. But it has more spring. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, we'll keep. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say it. Uh, it's tucked. Yeah, but. But we get. We uh, want to be able to lay. Yeah, we need the another. The idea is to have this four inches here. Right. So. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna tuck some tuck some stuff. To see yeah, as long as you know, I got a little bit of gap for driving. Well, what we want to do is have. Well, the problem is it's gonna affect your ride height. Mm -hmm. So before we're drooped all the way out, we'll end up that's gonna be sucked in too. Right. And you want an, an okay ride height. Exactly. So we've got to make somewhere happy in the middle. Well, I got plenty of room. Actually, we may only have about that much. Mm -hmm. It's two more inches. So that's probably what we're trying to meet is. Well, I mean, I'm never gonna drive like this. So it's like. Mm-hmm. Well, Rolling into cars and coffee, air it all the way out, barely rubbing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we don't I mean, do that in the S10. I might right, drive. So right. So <laughs> would be cool is we can get it bottomed out to a point to where you're almost laying a rocker. Mm-hmm. But then give you a proper right height. So we'll play with it and see what happens. Yeah. And we just gotta make the other side match. Yep. So we're gonna run, run it in, and see what happens. We'll just go. We'll go two inches. See what happens. Go two inches. Two inches. All see you, you later. Know. See you in two inches. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've uh we went up another two inches give or take, so it's actually it looks pretty good right now. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, well again, you're gonna have to go up a or air a little bit more than this out in order to get some push Yeah, So that's things. that's maximum ride heights. But that you really can't drive them? Yeah, right. So here's a so that looks good right this. about nah. Well that's all the way up. We're pushing the car up. Oh we are. So what's it? So it's not buying on the shock. It's physically your geometry is letting you know that's all the farts are one. No, uh -oh, gotta fix them. Yeah, it get might out. be just all the bind that allows it to go. Get out the grinder. So if that's the case, we can probably go back down. What am I? You got it here. <laughs> That's our problem. Mm. Yeah, That's all the geometry you got. Until exhaust is almost hitting it. Oh, the exhaust is hitting the tire? Almost, oh, no, your exhaust almost hit the crossbar. Ew. So this is as low as she go. So we cut off the exhaust. Sorry? So we got to cut off the exhaust. No, <laughs> your your <laughs> your suspension's actually bound. That sucks. So that being said. Let's look at the way the bag looks when it's extended. And if it's not wrinkled, that's probably still a good proper adjustment to coil over. But again, that's something we can play with at any time too, so that's not a big deal. Hmm. It may be lower than we think, really. I don't know. Uh... We can get a smaller overall line over time. Yeah. There's probably ways to do it. We'll have to Google how to, yeah. how to get a little bit more uh, twist out of it but she low she lowish so that looks about the same it was last time though. yeah it's it actually is yeah yeah we're now mind you we got a little bit of twist in the in the axle too so that might be part of it too it might just be is this bound up and once we square it might go better too well it's just i mean you could probably pull the coal over but it's there so nothing yeah else back out there and adjust on the car sit on the ground see what it looks like yeah, I, I, mechanically it's done. Adjustably, it's not quite there yet. So we'll keep moving and I'll start tearing apart the front, I guess. Well, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to start pulling out the interior. I don't know how we're going to do the front, though. What do you mean? I didn't bring jack stands. We'll set the back on the ground. Okay. Huh. You got everything done from underneath it? Because you're not going to get underneath it. And the only thing we got to do is run airlines into the spare tire well. But as long as we get them back there, or at least there. out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those are there. But, I mean, if we get the front just, like, ran back here to the back somewhere, they don't have to go into the holes right now. We could probably actually, where you've got the holes at, we could probably reach that. Yeah, we could probably do that still. Cool. We'll figure it out. So, we'll maybe set it down here in a second and... Be back with what it looks like on the ground, but <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. The air down. yeah, and then we might have to get a grinder out. We, well, I don't. We'll okay. figure it out. We'll have to figure out. What, what figure out what needs ground. May not let that go lower. <laughs> we'll figure out what we need we'll to grind. Break some shit, maybe. There we go. Yeah. 
right. All right. So we're uh, maiden voyage. We're playing. Let's see what happens here. Let's see. Is there a side of this one? It's only 90 psi, but that's about how little. Oh, dust everywhere. All right, fast forward slightly. Uh, wheels are off, front ends in the air. It's all jack stands. Uh, Wes is working on getting some stuff around the interior for the switch side. Uh, I'm gonna start figuring out how to get this strut out of here. And um, it requires to drill a couple holes. Oh, the stock Volkswagen stuff's kind of weird on how all this stuff goes together. Um, it's gonna require me to drill three traditional point holes in the top um, on both sides. This side looks like it's pretty clear depending on where I gotta put the holes at. Uh, ooh, maybe this might be a little fun here depending on where the holes gotta go. So, yeah. All right, they gave us a template as I have problems. I'll uh, describe them. His problem is he got too much junk in his car. Hey, don't worry about it. Cleaner junk. But back ends sitting low. Um, he's gonna have to bend over a little bit more to do the rest of the work. But uh, it's coming along pretty good. So don't think we'll get done today. Probably gonna take at least one more afternoon. Probably when it's all said and done. Um, probably maybe have the front end on at least one side. Probably no air ran. Probably none of that stuff. But we'll see how it goes. If he gets this done quicker, maybe he can give me a hand and we can tag team the front. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Here we go. Some mo. So this is going to be a good news, bad news segment. Good news. Uh, strut came out driver's side. Real easy. So it actually, I didn't even have to spread this at all. Slipped right out. Took the line stuff off. Come out the top, boom. Bolt came out, no problems. I had to disconnect the sway bar link off of the lower control arm where we get a little more drop, which is good. Said. So Strut. Now, bad news. This side wants to do the same thing, except for this tremendously huge axle that's back in here. See if it lightens up a little bit, kinda. But it is catching on frame rail with the same amount of disconnection from the sway bar link and such. So you see this, sorry. Um, I needed to get it about a down another inch uh, in order to get this clear of this so I can pull the rest of the strut out. Uh, I really don't want to pull the axle on this thing or in or the whole knuckle. And I don't have enough droop out of the top in order to clear the fender to get it to come out either. But uh, I kind of might have to. Be honest with you, I may Google, see if somebody's got a cheat driver's side axle out of a TDI without having to take it out. I'm wondering if I, if I don't take the nut off, push the axle back in, if it'll let me go in far enough. Uh, to where I can get it clear and maybe just get a little bit of angle on it, and it might let me out. So we'll fight and try. About to take a lunch break as well. All right, I don't, I don't understand what I'm doing with flies. All right, so good news, kind of. Uh, the pasture side's out. I'm going to zoom out on that. There we go. Um, took tie rod off. That wasn't really suggested. One guy suggested to take the three bolts out of the... Um, lower ball joint and slip it out and it literally gives you like a sixteenth of an inch left in order to do to get it out so it's not going to be terribly fun to get back in there but it'll be all right we'll figure it out but uh yeah that's what i said before when you were over here i was explaining yeah. the video that side looks like it's gonna be all right yeah um you got yeah. a hood prop on that side yeah. So I don't. I, I got. We got to try to figure out. I want it. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter where. I don't. Three holes I, I gotta know. We gotta look. I don't know well, if they, that thing's symmetric or not. So. Yeah, they should be. If the okay, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Well, even if they're not, top spin. So well, can... right. But I'm. I'm trip our struts. Uh. My thing is where where you can you easily drill holes. I'm trying to figure out where I can put this, a drill. This side's, this side's gonna be easy. Right, so I think I can get to here pretty easy. Well, even then you don't wanna to get to where you can't get a drill bit to it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we probably have to get this guy out of the way. Which, is that tacked on? Well, no, I'm just saying to 
pull the strut maybe and it might let the hood go back a little further. May even take the hood off uh, just just to keep us to where we can drill easily. If not, we, I don't think you need a right hand drill bit or drill D. Mm -hmm. I got a grinder, I can be a drill bit on. <laughs> but struts are out, everything came out. I, again, can't complain away uh, the hardware in this thing comes apart. Normally, I, I kind of dreaded that a little bit. But it looks like, hey, food's here. I can see oh, yeah. Nikki's car out on the side there. So. All right, so break time. We'll clean up and uh, may have struts in the front relatively quickly if, uh, if the, the hole's drilled and right. If the hole's drilled, okay. I got the wire for the controller ran in the front. I just got wire up, power ground, come off the amp. And Man, we plug in the compressor. Be pushing it today. We might have it done. Yeah, it might be ugly, but it might get better. Well, <laughs> I still got Amazon parts coming tomorrow. <laughs> it's true. It's true. We got some stuff to handle. No, no rush. He's got other cars, so we're good. All right, let's talk to you all here in a minute. Actually, right, so we're trying to make this work. So, obviously, you see I cut something out here. This is a strut plate mount for that. Make some adapter for that. So, where does the center go? I'm just going to do this. This is kind of what was on the back. Cheat it out, get it centered out. Use a razor knife, cut my circle, and I'll have a template to see if it works. Well, I got one drilled out. You can see the two holes there. That one's kind of stuck by the strut. Uh, I'm too fond of the way they give you that for paper. I think if I was to do a do another one or a customer's car, I think I'd make one out of wood or even steel. By the time you get it so far out here, kind of see what I made of. And it's too thin. Uh, I had them cut zip ties last, so they might be back by the wheels or something. Uh, but it goes in, it bolts up, it should be fine. It's just holding in place more than anything. The uh, pitch isn't exactly perfect, but uh, moving on. Front, uh, this, once I get this set in there and get it oriented, it should be in good shape. All right, so I, I didn't stop as often as I have been. Uh, long story short, it's back together. Everything's back in where it's supposed to be. Uh, pitch on this kind of stuff is a little bit different than the stuck one, so I'm gonna see if I can't sleep them, uh, slip the grommets in a little bit better, make that a little bit more organized. Uh, I got guess on ride height. I'm thinking it's gonna be way too damn high, but uh, that's where you adjust it. Everything's on top, bolted up. Same deal on the other side. Mm. About to. Slap the wheels on it and see how much movement we have. I'm thinking I might have to shorten this up quite a bit. We'll find out here in just a second. Well, we kind of have it working. Um, it's on its own. It's on its own suspension. Uh, rear is done. Don't knock my two lug nuts in the back thing. And the wheels. Wire. Huh? My shitty wire. Yeah, that's all right. Let's see if we go up. It looked like it was maxed out. It's at 90 pounds. Cause it like stopped, you know what I'm saying? It kind of got rigid. Yeah, it did. So we may have to play with it, because you make it, I had to think about it, the bags were, like when we first set them up, that's expanded, not pressurized. They'll probably right. blow a little bit further. That might be what we have problems with up to front too. But it goes down pretty quick, nothing. That's just one wheel, apparently. Works pretty quick. But kind of help just to try a test. We're about done with that anyway, so. But. <laughs> now he's just gonna play with it. And then the uh, front's tucking, probably rubbing, but that's fine. I mean, your figure is sitting. Nothing wrong with that. But yeah, she's uh, good for tonight. We gotta get some more terminals and. Couple other things here and there, but uh, for the most part, she's on, on the ground. So we'll uh, see if we can get a good shot of the side of it here. She's low. The back's got in. Yeah, the back's got hair in it. So now try to find some wheels, yeah. clean this up. Yeah. Yeah, wire nuts and stuff. Again, we're just trying to see if it worked. We'll get everything tidied up and make it look pretty. You're not gonna see any of that anyway. It's Yay! Good. <laughs> All right, we're beat. All right, throwing a towel in for the day. Uh, maybe next weekend? Maybe before? Uh, just yeah, good. I'll get the wiring cleaned up and stuff. Yeah, you can do that here and there. Uh, I got to do the wiring, um, the other cushion clamps for the air. 
uh, upside down air filter. The other custom clamps for the air filters will be here tomorrow. So I just got to put one on that air filter, and I still got to put an air filter in line between the tank and the controller. And we got to run um, front lines back. Got to run front lines back. I gotta That's it. Really? Wire up another relay. Only one compressor is on right now. That's not bad. But I mean, that's, I mean, all things considered. Yeah. I mean, my power's what, right there. So. 16-ish hours? <laughs> yeah. It's not bad. <laughs> Probably get another three or four hours ahead of us. I'm ready to go home and lay down. Break? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, break time. Talk to you later.